to my channel so today I've done this sunset eye look for you guys it's very beautiful I'm feeling this look today I did a first impressions on the BH cosmetics take me to Brazil palette and also the L'Oreal true match foundation and this is the Lumi foundation if you guys want to know my thoughts on the foundation and palette and are feeling this look and want to know how to get it, then just keep on watching okay love now let's get started so I already have my face prepped and primed so to start off the look I'll be using this red color as a transition color today and I'm taking the shadow a little above the crease because we want to have a gradient effect with the look now when building up color you can make the intensity as little or as much as you would like if you would like a less intense look then don't build up the color so much but if you do then just keep on building up the color so let's move on to the star of the show and today I'll be using the BH take me to Brazil palette so as you can see this is a very colorful palette it has 35 colors it has some green some oranges some purple some blues and I think this is a great palette to have in your kit especially for a starter so I'm going to be using this light purple shade to further deepen up the crease with this purple shade I'm taking it slightly below the red so it's directly inside my crease so now I'm going to take this even darker purple and further deepen up the crease with this shade, I'm taking it slightly lower than that first purple and it's going to be almost on my lid. And I'm just going to blend that out with my transition color because I don't want the reds getting lost a little bit so I just want to intensify it just a little bit more. Now I'm taking a smaller blending brush and I'm just going to blend the edges and make sure the colors are seamlessly blended. Now I'm just going to cut my crease with a little bit of concealer. For this step, I use an angle brush to get a more precise shape and then I just filled it in with the concealer wand. So now I'm going to pack this yellow color onto the inner third of my lid. And then I'm going to pack this orange color in the middle of my lid. Now it took me a little bit to build up the yellow color to the intensity that I wanted to, but there was no fallout, so that's a plus. Instead of the other orange in my other palette, I'm going to use this orange right here because that orange is a little too bright. So I ended up using two other oranges mixed with that orange and this is from the Morphe 35O palette because I wanted more of a burnt orange look. outer half of the eye I'm going to be using my transition color now I'll be using this copper glitter right here and I'll be putting this above the crease for this part, I used a mixing medium. This just helps the glitter has something to stick to. Now let's move on to the face. So for foundation today, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation. And the light one is in the color Soft Stable. And the dark one is in the color Nut Brown.
For concealer, I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee and Fond to Highlight and the color Mahogany to Contour. And of course, I'm going to blend all that together with a damp beauty sponge. This is my Real Technique sponge, and I would definitely recommend this to you guys. And to set my highlight in place, I'm going to be using my black opal powder in the color dark and my Ben Nye banana powder. To set the rest of the face, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Better Skin powder and this is the color coconut and I love this powder guys. For contour, I'm using my L'Oreal powder, and this is in the color Coco, as always. And after you contour, you just wipe all that excess bake off. Now I'm going to spray my face with some MAC Fix Plus to take that powdery look away. Next, I'm going to take this gold highlight shade from my Carly Bible palette, and this is going to be my base highlight. On top of that, I'm going to use this pink highlight from my Desi Danger Morphe highlight palette. And now for eyeliner, I use concealer to make the wing, and now I'm going to do an ombre liner. So I'm going to start with the darkest color in the inner, and then I'm going to fade it out to the lightest color. This step was really hard to get on camera, but you definitely have to take your time doing this. So I'm almost done the eyeliner, so this is how it should look. Now I'm putting on lashes, and the lashes I'm using today is the Ardell Demi Wispies. Okay, lashes on. Now for the final step, lips. And today I'll be using my Kylie lip gloss in the color Coco K. Okay loves, and that's it for this look. So for the BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette, I would definitely recommend this palette. It's pigmented and it's affordable. So I would say yes to this. As for the foundation, I will also say yes. I'm loving how this is looking right now. What do you guys think? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support I've been getting. You guys are amazing. And I'll see you guys in my next video.